Howdy, Reese here. Oh, wait a second. I know. I know you. I know you can't see see me. I'm just. Well, I'm just one with these trees. Here, I will reveal myself to you. Howdy. <laughs> As it was. Hopefully, this outfit definitely does. Let me one with the trees. Now, here I am. I'm gonna come you into our. Ninth installment in this one. I'm going to be showing you 18 tricks that you can do for the summertime. That will definitely make you one with nature, the trees, and the ground with this one. Okay, let's get right on to him right now. Okay, well, as it is, here comes into our first one on our installment nine. And that is the magic backhand summer summer mosquito magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Did you hear a mosquito? Did you hear a mosquito? Oh. oh. Okay. Good. There we go. End of, the, of that little guy. What? Okay, I did not see that coming. How did I? You saw me smack it here, and it ended up here. Okay. Looks like this mosquito is very magical. <laughs> If I know how this is done, as it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is a little toy mosquito that you see just right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is put it in the back of your hand because they like going through the back of the hand. You can see, it's right here. All you gotta do is hide it and make a humming sound. And kind of go bzzz at the same time, like the sound of a mosquito. As you can hear by your ear a little bit too, right? As they, and then they land, and then they get into the back of the back of the hand or wherever. Here is the back of the hand in this one. All you gotta do is as you smack it, you're gonna actually do this. Smack your hand like that and say, hey, yes, I finally got that mosquito. And then after it's done, just turn your hand over, revealing a mosquito in the palm of your hand act surprised and shocked that you smacked that mosquito and by and by magic it went right through your hand into the palm well you see this here that's where it's done give it a toss makes for um, a very uh, cute magic, magic trick as it involves the summer mosquito as well too with that one, just by the smacking of it on the back on the back of your hand, and by magic, it ends up into your palm. A magical mosquito of summer. And that right there is how you do the magic backhand summer mosquito magic trick. Tip: Don't forget the bug spray. As it is this summer, definitely just have mosquitoes. So make sure that you pack that with you. That way you won't have those pesky mosquitoes attacking you. Since we're getting into the bugs, here's one for you. And coming into our trick number two. And that is the magic summer treasure bug magic trick. Here's what this treasure bug will look like. So you can, you can see my little treasure? Watch. By magic, I throw the coin into my hand, and by magic, it changes into a ladybug. And that's how you get treasure bug. So how's this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need are this to have a few simple things. One, one of those ladybugs that look like this. And the guy I do is they're going to is tape or glue a gold coin as the treasure. The treasure coin on the bug right here. These wings will be held 
or in gripped like this. It's so uh, clear that you don't get to see it. That way, it'll fit in just like this. So you're gonna start off with it just like this. All I gotta do is simply toss it. Go ahead and like that. And by magic, the treasure changes into the bug. I'll show up close. Like that. But it'll be very, very quick. So, and then you just end up doing that. And by magic, the treasure coin changes into a ladybug in the palm of your hands after giving it a toss. Makes another magical bug with that one too. And that right there is how you do the magic summer treasure bug magic trick. From the tree we pull out our number three right towards you. So what is our trick three? Well as it is, goes into not just any rock, but a magical rock as well too. And that is the, the summer magic rock die magic trick. It is what this will rock die like. So you see, can you see this die? Watch. By magic, I get a toss and it changes into a rock die. And you see, that's it here. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll be needing for this is a rock die. It's a cube rock, and I just put a little, uh, like little dots from white out onto it. And then you'll be needing is a dice to go with that. Make sure the spaces are even, and make sure you find the dice corresponding to the rock cube to make the die. Make sure, make sure that they are. The same. So have one up for comparison and then just, just do the dot dots. You see, just right here. So here's the rock die and here's the regular die right here. All you gotta do is simply play, place the rock die down here in this hole and then hold the die like this. All you gotta do is simply is go hold your hand. And you're gonna give this a toss, really gonna to toss this like this. Like that, making sure the number is staying up at all times. So simply, so, and simply just go like that. By magic, the dice that you had changes into the rock die that you see just right here. Keep this palmed, make your way in, into your pocket, or sitting in the park bench, put it directly into your lap. By magic, changing the regular die into nature and making it a rock die. And that right there is how you do the summer magic rock die magic trick. Bring us way to our number four. Trick four, which I like to call the magic disappearing marble shell magic trick. Is what this marble and shell will look like. So here I got my shell and I got my marble. Nice and green. Just like my shirt. Almost. Okay. What I'm going to do is going to actually just uh, going to place this into my hand just like this. I'm going to actually is uh, make it that is going to end up in the shell. Watch. It vanishes. If I just take the uh, shell, watch. And just give it a little tap. Just like this. It comes right out of the shell. So that was the sun, as it is, I'm about to reveal the sea crit. All you need is a marble, a green marble, or a rainbow one. So tie it up to you. And then you'll need is another one of those big shelves. Let's see right here. Very nice and hollow. All you gotta do is you're going to hold your shell in your hand and you're gonna actually place it into the shell like this. But the thinking is into your palm, it's right there. Push it in a little bit. 
make your fist, cut the soul, held by your right or left hand, and simply make a thanus, send it on its way in, into the soul. All you gotta do is take your soul, and simply cut your hand, get a few taps, like this. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna dislodge from the cell. And it'll dislodge from the cell and end up into your palm of your hands. From a disappearing marble, and then the cell, and then by magic, the marble comes directly out of it. And that right there is how you do the magic disappearing marble cell magic trick. Then here we get to our trick number five, which is a trick I like to call the magic summer clam pearl magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got um, a clam cl here. You can see there's nothing inside that one. And all I have in the other one is a little bit of sand. Watch this. I've just put it put, put, put together like this. Watch. By magic, I get a, a pearl in the clam. So how do I do this? As is, a, is I'm about, about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is a clear marble that symbolizes a pearl, or you can get yourself a pearl. It's entirely up to you. Then you'll need is two clam shells. You can see right here. And a little bit of sand that you'll see just right here. Give it a nice nature look. Okay, what's, what you want to do is you're going to take your a pearl or clear marble and hide it in the inside of the, the clam like this. Hold it by your fingers like that. So that way, this stays like this. So it's like it's, you're, you're holding on to it. Then you're going to take your um, other clam here and you're simply just place this on like this and place it on like this and then just give it a cover like that. Or if you have this want to, or get a stick or a leaf as any wand. I'll just use my hand for this one. Magic happen. All you gotta do is you hold very carefully, and by magic, a pearl appears sitting on the sand in the, in the clam cell. You see this right here. And that right there is how you do the magic summer clam pearl magic trick. Bring us way down to our trick number six from here. And that is the magic summer gem rock squeeze magic trick. Here's what this rock will squeeze like. So here I got my rock. Is this gonna go like this and get a squeeze? Watch. Actually, squeeze it, and it looks like it gives us little gems from the rock, as you can see right here. So how did I squeeze this and get this many gems out of this rock? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll be, be needing for this is what you're going to see here. Now it is a palm-sized rock. And plastic small gems you see just here. You're going to start off with your gems into your palm of your hand. Just like this. Get them all in there. So it looks like that. Place the rock and put it in like this. Make sure it's nice and covered like this. All you gotta do is simply is cup your hand over and begin to squeeze. You can actually just release these like this as you do this. Squeeze the rock and then you get the gems coming out of the rock after it's done. Hands away, show the rock and show what came out of the rock. Gems that you see just right here. And the other one with the nature, because it involves the rock oven.
and simply just by magic squeezing it and getting something from it. What's even more magical is the sun right now. If you're looking behind me, it looks very golden. Come for me, I will show you. Look way down there. Let's get let's get even closer to it. And there you go, you can see it looks nice and golden. Now it's that wants to see something very, very green. Well as it is, let's look at the monstiest rock ever. Let's take a look down and I'll show ya. Just to here. Look. All very mossy. Just for here. Guys, can you want to take a closer look at it? I'll show you. Let's get even closer to the rock and of the moss. Always great being one with the nature of things. Exactly. So what the trick's supposed to see is exactly just that. The nature of things. Exactly. And the tricks we will be seeing in this installment, besides as other amazing things, looking from under, under the sun, of nature, and, of course, the summer love. And back to where we started. We take a look back there, that rock there, that rock in itself almost looks like, like a turtle or something. As you can see in the far off distance, that's right there, you can see. There's the mouth, and you can see on top there, it looks like eyes. As you can see, just right there. That's why it's so great to go on nature walks. You can find lots of amazing things. Um, not as that. With him that said, let's get on with the rest of our tricks from here. But first, that is how you do the Summer Magic Gem Rock Squeeze trick. Bring us down to our trick, trick number seven. And that is the magic shell and suey cup magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So you can see you got one shell inside this uh, uh, suey cup here. You just take this out like this. You know, actually it's just place this into my pocket of my uh, shirt here like this. You can actually simply just, just, just take this Watch, just fall over. Watch. By magic, it comes right back after tipping this up like this. How's this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll be needing is two of the same seashells on the right size. And a seaweed cup, which I call because it looks kind of like a seaweed cup. You can tell this by the nice green look to it as well too. It also has a nice cool design. Almost the same kind of designs almost as my shirt that you'll see just right here. Okay, bend down low and I'll yo, tell you what is done down here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna start off by palming one into your hand like this. That way you can hide it like this. So, so you don't know. This starts off into the cup just like this. All you gotta do is simply just take this out, place this into a, your pocket. Here, I'm just gonna use my pocket right here. Place it in, get your cup. And all you gotta do is put this in like this, make your way down to the table, and the magic pick up, and it comes right back by the use of this sweet cup. You'll see, just right here. Enough by doing this. And that right there is how you do the magic shell and suey cup magic trick. Bring us way down to our trick number eight here on our installment nine. Coming up tomorrow will be our tenth and our eleventh installment. So I keep you posted with that one. As it is now, let's name off our trick. That is the eighth one, the Magic Mazatlan Fish Frame Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Here I got my frame, and it says, what is this Mazatlan on it? Gonna make magic with this. Check this out. Look where they are. How about you just go in and pull a fish completely out of it? Fish from what? Bally. <laughs> How's this one done? 
as is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is a wooden fist and actually came from Bali. And you'll see just the hair. Looks really nice as well too. Then you'll need is this Mazatlan frame that you see just right here. It has a minger onto it. You're gonna use this as a covering to take out the fish. First up, you can see the inside of it. All you gotta do is going to palm the fish like this into your hand and place the Mazatlan frame like this. So the picture and simply go like this, pull it out like that. So, and then by magic, pull out a fish from the Mazatlan picture frame frame that you'll see just here. There, it, it, it gets your trip and your fish all in one with this. And that right there is how you do. The Magic Mazatlan Fish Frame Mazatrick. Trick. Then that puts us right down to our C number 9 on our 19th stomach here. The Mazatrick, Trick, which I like to call the Magic Summer Sea Shell Hand Shaker Trick. It was like this sea shell will handshake like. Where does that come to my mind? Sea cells, sea cells by this the seaside. What does sea have? It has salt, right? Watch this. Get a shake. And by magic, it gives me sea salt. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the sea. Crit. All you'll need is a sea salt. You'll see just right here. And for this, you're going to be to be needing is coarse salt for this one. So here I got my um, um, my uh, salt right here. All you gotta do is you're going to actually leave this, put it into your palm of your hand just like this. You can see flakes going in. Look how big they are, guys. Look how big they are. This is coarse salt, by the way. You get this in your local grocery store. You get off like that. And then place it sea soul on top of this. All you gotta do is going to say the words sea souls, sea souls by the seesaw. You can also make it fun by doing a tongue twister. Like you can say it fast sea souls, sea souls by the seesaw. Keep on doing that. Try and pick up the rate and see what you get. I, yeah, it is a tongue twister, a clever one, because after you say the two words, you're going to, to get them really good with this. There lies the handshake. Handshake, and you get salt coming from the sea cell. <laughs> hey, see? Tessa here. Flakes coming your way. <laughs> a cool one you could do is it involves a sea cell and the sea salt with it. And that right there is how you do the magic summer sea shell hand shaker trick. Then that puts us to our C number 10. Right to you. And that is the magic summer blue feather gems magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got these um, nice clear gems and I got these blue feathers. I just place these into my hand just like this. I'm gonna actually just uh so pretty magical with it. Okay, I just take one feather in the other hand and the other in there. Watch. By magic it turns into blue gems. And the feathers. How's this one done? As is about to re re reveal the secret to you. Right now, all you'll be needing is what you're going to see here. And that is blue gems. Two, same. Blue feathers, so you see just right here. And big um, plastic crystals as well, too. What I'm doing, starting off, is keep your blue into your palms, like this. 
and only had these out and this like across, like that. I'll just move it down here, like this. So again, so off with it like this. You're going to um, is pick these up and simply just put them into your lap like this, very quickly, like this, and turn your fists up like that that you had them into your hand. Really, there's blue into your hand. Pick out the feathers into two of your, your hands like this, and simply cast out like this. By magic of the blue feathers, changes those gems into two blue gems, as you can see, just stay here. And that right there is how you do the summer magic blue feather gems, magic trick. Putting us directly to our C number 11, right to you. And that is the magic appearing leaf frog magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here you can see I got these two leaves. Watch. By magic, what appears on it happens to be a leaf frog. How's this one done? As it is about to reveal a secret. All you need is a frog toy that looks kind of like the colors of a leaf. And then, then you'll need uh, two real leaves or fake leaves. As you can see, just right here. What's going to do is it going to cover the little tree frog in behind it just like that. Make sure the feet are not out so you have it as slant like this. Take your other one, stiffen it up by simply just doing this for a real leaf by this hold. And all you gotta do is simply place the frog on like this and simply just brush away like that. But you gotta be very quick. By magic, making a frog appear on a leaf, as you can see, just right here. So it's done. Put the leaf down and present the frog on the leaf. And another nature one, part of the summertime, and that right there is how you do the magic appearing leaf frog magic trick. Then we get to our. C number 12, or should I say, Ocean 12, because in there, we're going to get into the deep of it, and getting into the read of it. And that is the magic deep, you know, summer deep sea read trick gag. Here's what this will look like. And up from the deep, I pull the read. Now it's that I got this little bubble wand here. If I just go into here, I wonder what this will do. Watch this. I go into to the read. Watch. Whoa. I go go into it again. Hey, how am I getting those bubbles from this? <laughs> I got to. How's this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal. Let's see. The C. You got that right. Crit comes after. Exactly. Okay, all you need is um, a C read from the pet store. We can find these for pet fish, like that. And then all you need behind it is a vial with bubble solution. This is what you'll see. Just say here, the miracle bubbles. Okay, what I just want to do is going to, to uh, take this out and have this into your hand at all times. And have this facing you. Make sure you go for the same color as the reed. That way it does not get exposed. So we can, you can hold it like that or hold it like this if you want to. Here I'll hold it just like this so you guys can get to see it. Make sure you get packing tape to pack it nice and tight like that. So your bubble wand place into the vial and simply get out bubbles. Just seeing you go into the reed like this and bubbles mysteriously come from it by the use of a bubble wand. As you can see, just to here. And that right there is how you do the magic summer deep C read trick gag. Then that there brings us right down as it is on right down. Where on the ground? Check it out. 
It's this right here. And that puts us directly right to our, our um, 13th trick, which I like to call the Magic Gem Stone Water Cup Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Because you can see there's nothing in my cup. I got some water and I got my, my little stone here. I place this in just like this into the water. Watch. You see me play, place it in. Watch what's going to happen. If can just, now this is to go in, all the way in. Whoa! Oh, by magic! Look what it turned into. A butterfly. How's the sun? As it isn't but to reveal. That's the, the secret. All you can be beating are three things for this. All you, you need is all clear stuff. Uh, a clear plastic cup, a clear gem, and a clear butterfly. You're gonna start off by giving this a fill with water. Like this. Dump a little bit out so you can see the water level. Place a butterfly in the inside just like that and tilt it. That way um, the butterfly is uh, completely invisible to the eye. So give it as a tilt. So the gem, simply just place it in just like this. This too will disappear. As you drop it into the bottom, as you can see, down right there, you don't even see it. It's completely invisible. All you gotta do is reach in, like this, get some water out. Same time as you do this, get that gem. Really, you're not, you're passing it, and it's picking up the clear butterfly. So the gem magically turns itself into a crystal butterfly by the water. And you'll see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the Magic Gemstone Water Cup Magic Trick. Then putting us right down to our trick number 14, and that is the Jumping Water Jar Ladybug Magic Trick. Is what this will look like. So you can see my little bug in there. Just place the water in the inside like this. Right, you see there's this bug inside there. Like that. Okay, so put this cup down. Guys, can get get to see the bug. Look, look inside. Where is the bug? Where is it? Okay, where did that where, where did that bug go? Okay, how is that possible? How did it flee the water so quickly? Look. Oh, is this, this one done? As is, but to reveal, that's the this, this secret. Are you going to be beneath for this? Oh, there's three simple things. Here are your three ups. That is a jar, and two of the same ladybugs. You see, just right here. Going to tape one to the bottom of the jar. You see, just right here, with masking tape or scotch tape. This one here, I'm going to stay into your palm at all times during the performance. Like that. All you gotta do is just add water and show it like that as it is tipping up, uh, tipping out a little bit. And then, knowing that now it's gone, all you gotta do is simply open your hand up, making the jump. Then you need a cup for water. Lift your load. My cup right now. Uh, up. So there, you got your water. Well, that one. This now is into your hat like that. So you can see the, the ladybug. All you gotta do is simply just put the water into it, like this, into the, the jar, making it disappear. So the, the ladybug is out there by tipping tipping it like that. You can see, see, there's no ladybug inside. Completely gone. You can take a look at the bottom. There's nothing there. And simply, after noticing it's gone, doing this. Opening up your, your fist, releasing that. So the fly there, water will cancel out the image of the butterfly. And then by opening up your hand, makes the jump 
happen from from water to the bug in your palm of your hand. And that right there is how you do the jumping water jar ladybug magic trick. Then bring us down to our trick number 15 and that is the summer hammer to the rock trick. Because it is summer to the hammer will hammer like. So here I got my rock and I got my hammer. Just like this. It brings me rocks. Okay, now that I did that, I'm gonna just set any rock. Oh, here's a nice rock. I just simply just place it in my hand just like this. I just, just give it a rub like this. Watch what that makes me. I'm gonna toss it in my hand like this. Watch this. It turns into a gem. How's this one done? I'm sure this is done right now. All you need is a blue gem or a crystal gem, I like that. Rocks, small. Then you need to use a hammer, like a tool. And of course, what you're gonna need is a rock. All you gotta do is simply place this in the back of your hand just like that. And take your gem and place it into your opposite hand. This now I'm going to use the hammer and simply do this and tip. That way you get the rocks coming out like this as you end up doing that. Okay, so once you get all the rocks out of that body like this, you're going to look at a special one. So make sure you get a special one. Here I chose this one. Simply put it into your hand like this and you give it a rub and throw it into this hand. We're going to put in the jam like this. Give this a ditch, and then, by magic, it gives you a gem in your hand. Rock to gem. And after that's done, add it with the rest of the rocks. You'll see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the summer hammer to the rock. trick and with that said we get on down to our 16th trick which I like to call the magic C cup multiplying pine cones magic trick is what this will look like see here I just got one just place this in like this and actually just flip this over like that I have this little hand drummer here you see right here that's gonna make magic happen with this let go like this Watch what's gonna happen. Watch. And magic, they multiply. How's this, this one done? As it is, but to reveal the secret, all you need is more than one pine cone, a nice looking uh, cup you see right here, with a nice design onto it, and a little. And drum that does this, like an island drum. This one here came from um, Mazatlan, as you see, just right here. All you got to do here is you're going to, to uh, collect your pine cones, like that. Your hand is like this. And all you got to do simply is as it places in, you know, and as it places the others in there as well too, like this. This now goes onto a table, just like that. Then with this, all you gotta do is do this. Once that's done, the music is involved in this one. It simply is pick up the clones by getting a little shake out like this. By magic, make them multiply. This is a C test right here. There gets something musical with that one. That's all too. And that right there is how you do the Magic C Cup Multiplying Pine Cones Magic Trick. Then that puts us right down to our trick number 17, and that is the Magic Balancing Summer Pine Cones Trick. Is what this will look like. Well, look at these little, look at, look at, look at these big pine cones. Yeah, right there. I just use this. I'm gonna actually just go in just like this, okay? Just, just like that. I'm gonna actually just have it to um, bounce around that. And last but not least, I get this. Watch. Magic happen. 
and simply just uh, that balance and move, move it. How is this son? This is about to reveal the secret. All you need is different sized pine cones. Here I've got a big one, medium sized one, and a small guy where you'll see this right here. Okay, so the balancing part is very easy. All you gotta do is you're going to lock them together like this because they will lock together really nice and sturdy by pushing them together. Make sure you actually do it very quickly like this. That way they stick on balancing and you can just move it and it doesn't even fall off. Do it out for the balancing pine cones. Cool nature one that you could do park at the beach. Let's see right here. Go give it up for the balancing pine cones. And that right there is how you do the the magic balancing summer pine cones trick. And then to our last one and our 18th one, and that is the trick we're supposed to call the magic summer bush bouquet trick. It is what this will bouquet like. Gonna hold on to, to this bush bouquet. Watch, it's gonna actually get a flower to grow. Watch. And it's dancing too. How is this one done? As it is, much reveal. The secret. All you'll need is a fake flower, as you can see, just here. Or a real flower and a bush bouquet, which is what you'll see just right here. Be one with the leaves. Exactly. All you're going to do is put this in behind, like that, and hold on to this and move up. And then just go like that. Give it back and back and forth. So, so. And then simply go like this. Make it grow and then do a little summer dance like this. By right, simply doing that. Once it's done, thumb goes over and just holds it in place. Well, that way, there is a flower in the bouquet. And you'll see just right here. And there you go. Here's the 18 tricks. Enjoy this installment. I'll see you all tomorrow for our 10th installment and our 11th installment. This is my community. Race Nabo, and I'll see you very soon. Now, let's check this one out.